Good morning everyone, Tractorman44 here. You know, whenever you're changing directions in ductwork, you make what's called a, a transition, an offset, or possibly a radius if you're going around a corner. So if you happen to have a vertical riser that's wide and narrow, say it's 8 inches deep by 20 inches wide, you have to make our, what they call a long way radius if you want to turn from the left to the right or the right to the left in the width dimension. That's called a long way radius. Okay, if you're going along horizontally with a 20 inch horizontal like this and you want to change direction to go down or go up, that's going to be a short way radius. It's going to come over and drop down in a short way. Uh, they call it a short way because you're going by the height of the duct and then they call it the long way if you're going by the, the width of the duct. So today what we're going to do, we're going to do, um, we're going to do a long way radius. I don't remember what the dimension is. I think it might be either 8 or 10 by 20, but it's going to be a long way radius with um, I think a four inch throat on one end and a six inch throat on the other. Uh, that all has to do with alignment with what we have to align with. I looked up, I looked at my sketch. I'm wrong. It's a four inch throat both directions. The six inch throat's on the next fitting, but we'll get to that later. When you're talking radius, there's all kinds of ways of doing it. You can actually run a piece of ductwork up, just cut the, put a cap on it, cut the side out of it, and tap out of the side of it with a, another piece of duct going that direction. That's kind of a crude, rudimentary 90 degree turn. Uh, or you can actually lay out a physical 90 degree sharp 90 especially in the return air you're not too concerned about about putting turning vanes or something in it you can it doesn't really hurt you can also make a nice round radius that's when you have to use the uh, easy edger that's mounted on your lock farmer machine that's the top accessory on some of the lock farmer machines it'll take a 3 16 inch part of the metal you stick it in just follow it around your radius and you can make a round radius that way or you can go with the type that I typically make. You go out square, you, nine, you, you 45 off or something like that, and then correct it so you have a semblance of a radius with those two bends. That's what we're gonna do today. Looks like this is gonna be 10 by 20. So the first thing we can do, we know the radius is going to go like this right here. So we know we have to have a quarter inch down here and a quarter inch up here. Now, if we were just making a square 90, we wouldn't have to worry about daubing this off. We know the width is going to be 20 inches in width, so we're going to come off of that quarter inch mark up here. We're going to mark 20 inches, and then we're going to add a quarter inch to it. We're going to do that two places. Then we have to figure out how far we have to go up in order for this 90 to be created. So that's going to be 20 inches up off of the quarter inch line down here, plus a quarter go over just a little ways, approximately four inches, put a 20 inch off of the quarter inch and add another quarter to it. Now you've established the quarter, the inside corner right here. So if I go ahead and connect these dots and allow those lines to intersect right here, we're starting off actually in the inside radius of the fitting. But we know we've got the width, this direction, and that direction. We know then that the top part of this, or this angle right here, or this portion right here, is going to be the 20 and a quarter plus the 4 inch throat. The inside quarter inch, this will be the outside edge, and down here we're at 24 and 1 quarter, which is exactly what we figured. So if I mark down 1 inch, 23 and a quarter, that's going to be our S, or drive connection. So I can come out here and I can go 23 and a quarter, and 24 and a quarter. There's our 20, and here's our 20. We have to locate the outside edge of it. Because it's a four inch throat, we're gonna go four inches out from the inside quarter inch mark. That's gonna be four plus 20 and a quarter, which is gonna be 24 and a quarter, just like we had that direction. So that's gonna be 24 and a quarter, and then back one inch off of that for the S and drive. Now we have to do is come up with the radius that does not restrict the 20 inch dimension. If we just come over here and run us a line down across here, we're dropping dramatically the 20 inch dimension from the inside of that throat to here. You see what I mean? We've already dropped down to 16 inches, so we know we're gonna have to be down here a pretty good ways in order for us to maintain 20 inches all the way across. So that looks like that's a good approximation right about there. So let's see about what it is. It's about 10 and a half inches, so that call that 11 inches because that's easy to remember. And let's put it 11 inches down from here. Should be able to connect these dots and add one quarter inch to them for the quarter inch 90. 
And there's our basic layout for both sides. You can double check to make sure you maintain your 20 inches across there. I dropped down to about 19 and 3 quarters. That's not gonna, really going to matter that much. I've overdrawn or over, I'm overkill on the return air capacity of the ductwork anyway for the wood furnace. So that's going to be just fine. So there's our layout right here. Just to highlight what I just what I just talked about. Obviously that's not the cut line, <laughs> that's just to highlight what we're going to cut. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, use this for a pattern, and then make both of them off of that one layout. We're going to use that for a pattern, trace that out, and then trim it, and we'll be right back. Now this little four inch throat right here is perfect for this little cleat bender. You can do use cleat bender with fittings up to 24 inches. 24 inches inside throat. So you slide that in there. <clears throat> now we're ready for the heel wrapper and toe wrapper. Now remember, I tell you all the time, make sure you use the fitting that you, the portion that you laid out to actually make your measurements off of because the measurements change. They crawl a little bit by the time you use this as a pattern to transfer it to another sheet of metal. So we remember it was 11 inches, so we know this is going to be 11 inch, but you can double check that just to make sure. This should be 11 inches as well. Now you can use math to figure this, you know, but there's no need to. If we put this 18 and 3 quarter, 18 and 3 eighths, I think it was. Put that at 18 and 3 eighths plus 22, so that's 3 eighths, 10, 40 and 3 eighths by 10 end height, so that's going to be by 12. This we know is 4, this is 4, so that's 8 by 12 for the toe wrapper and for the heel wrapper. Heel wrapper, here's the toe wrapper. In case you guys wonder why I got them old refrigerator magnets sitting there, you can see obviously a lot of times I'll just throw a, a piece of metal up on there and just let the magnets hold it in place. And also a lot of times if I've got a real particular bend that's a little complicated, I might sketch it out on a piece of paper and then number the bend so that that and then so that I can fold it in the correct sequence. And a lot of times I just stick it under a magnet right there so I'll have it right to, to look at. This is the toe wrapper. It gets folded opposite the heel wrapper. Heel wrapper gets folded in, the toe wrapper gets folded out. I've said this before, I don't latch this down all the way most of the time across the Pittsburghs because that makes it more difficult to open up when you're installing. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You can, but you don't have to.
there it is, just quick and simple, and this really is a very simple fitting, a long way radius. You can see how if you're coming up vertically and you need to turn and go horizontally in a long way fashion, this is the way that it's done. The variations, of course, like I said, is a, a square 90 or a radius, actual round 90, or actually just running two pieces of ductwork up and tapping them into each other, which is the least uh, acceptable as far as I'm concerned. Like I said, quick and simple, long way radius. This is Tractor Man 44, and I'm out of here, guys.